Okay, we're now going to have a go at using random within uh, Python Turtle to create some different colors. So I'm going to go to File, New File, File, Save As, and I'm going to call this one Random Shapes. Now I've actually called one this before, so I'm going to have to say, do I want to replace it? Yes. As we've done previously, I'm going to start by importing Turtle, but I'm also going to import the random module. I'm going to create a variable which I'm going to call uh, color number or col num for short. Now I don't need to say that this is an integer input. Instead, what I need to say is col number equals from the random module a random integer, and I'm going to say it's between one and three. Now, just to show how this works, I'm going to print out the results of what happens. So I'm going to print the result of that variable. It should print one, two, or three. So if I run it once. We get a 2. Let's pull this to the side a little bit so it's a bit easier to see what's happening. Pull this a bit across. If I run the module again, I get another 2. Run the module again. Remember, each time it runs, it's starting from fresh. So there's an equal chance of it being a 2 each time as there is of being a 1, a 2, or a 3. Keep going. Yeah, I've eventually got a different number this for quite a long time before when I was trying to test this out and I kept getting two. So it's quite nice to get a different number on this. Now we don't actually want to use this to print out random numbers like this. What we want to do is we want to use it to print out different colour choices. So we're going to say if col number equals equals one then we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call it PC. In this case PC means pen colour. So pen colour is going to be equal to red. However, if or elif color number equals equals two, PC is going to be equal to green. You'll notice on each of these, I'm using the same variable, and that's because as a variable it can be written in different ways. So the first time it runs, if it gets a 1, it will set PC to being red. If it gets a 2, it will set it to green. We need a third one. So we'll go elif col number equals PC equals, let's say, yellow for this one. And again, if we wanted to test this, we can do the same thing we did before. We can say print col number, and it should give us a result. But that's not what I want to see at the moment. What we want to do now is we want to try and draw a shape and make use of those. So what we're going to say is we're going to say for i in range 4, I'm going to draw a square. We're going to say turtle.forward100. Turtle dot right ninety. But before the for I in range, we're going to set the pen color. So we're going to say turtle dot pen color. And instead of writing the color, I'm going to put PC, and then it will be replaced by whichever of these ones is generated. So let's try that now. Let's run the module, and what we should see, well, we got a yellow square that time run it again. Got a red square that time. Got a green square. That's lucky. So each time it runs it's got an equal chance of it being a different colour. Incidentally if we change that turtle.pen colour, I'll just remove that for a second and put that within the loop like that, let's see what happens now. Let's run that again. again. So you can see it still works and we did eventually get a second colour. Because it's running through it, it starts by generating the different pen colour here and it's called here. The thing is this is only happening once so if we change where this happens, if we had this happen within the loop, we could have it apply to each different line. But to do that, all of this would have to be nested within the loop here. So if I just borrow that for a second and put that up here, and then 
all of this gets indented by one, so it's now all part of the loop. Let's try now. Run the module again. You see eventually a different colour there. Run the module again. Two different colours that time. Three different colours eventually. Normally we don't need this. Normally we can have them completely separate like we had before. But by indenting it into the same loop, it means that as it draws one line, it looks, makes a random choice, and then applies these choices. If we leave this out, then it can't make use of that because this colour number is being defined here, and these ones can only happen after that's been defined. So we can do it either way around. We can either have it like we had at the start, where well, all of this is here. Or we can have it where it's indented within it. The advantage of doing it this way is if we then want to do a second shape. Let's make a triangle this time. we've chosen a random colour here we can now apply it to both of those without redoing it but you'll find they should both now be the same colour so let's try this again let's go to run module so we get a green square and then we get a green triangle again a green square and a green triangle this time we got a red square and a red triangle if we went back and redid what we did before, if I cut all of this, and paste it within the loops, making sure that's lined up properly, then it will produce a different random number for the first shape, the square, as it will for the second one. So let's try that now. It might still be the same, there's only three choices. So each line on each shape is being randomly chosen. And you can change the numbers. So for instance, you will change the colours rather. So instead of having red on the second one, we can try pink. So green, we could try blue. And if we run the module again, you can see we're getting a whole range of different colours starting to appear, which makes it a lot more interesting. So again, explore this, try them out. You can try using random within the shapes or before the shapes are generated.